Welcome to Red and Black TV. I'm your host, Stoss, co-host Banana, panel heads, Boz, Azza, and we've got a special guest tonight, Georgie Boy. Georgie, Georgie. What's happening, Georgie? The legend of Kiss that. FM. Oh. Yeah. Can you get me started on that? <laughs> Before I uh, dealt with so much on that on that place, so, uh, you know, spicy, bro. How are you feeling, George, to be on the panel for the first time? A bit nervous, but, you know, I'm... I love my media work, so you know, just keep, keep it up. Keep the it the, up. Ma- the media hall, doubling in the arts, mate. <laughs> <laughs> the media hall, just the finger, yeah, exactly, <laughs> exactly. You touch around there. Around I'm here. sure you'll be in your element tonight, George. There's no doubt. Well, it's great to did be you, here. And did you have fun with the watch along? Oh, mate, it was yeah. <laughs> sensational. Told me a lot. Sensational. It was <laughs> man, Scenes, eh? sensation after sensational. Mate, yeah. Honestly, it's it's gold loggy. Gold loggy, <laughs> mate. Oh, Let's not get one of those. But more and most importantly, Malta, do we still have a chance? <laughs> <laughs> Is the top six Banana. mathematically you, boy, possible you, still? You him, Malta, you're, you're asking, you're your, boy, your boys go to school, yeah? Yeah. <laughs> do they have a Casio calculator somewhere? <laughs> <laughs> get get the a, calculator. Bring it, Tim. He's gonna, gonna, he'll down. find some equation to slide oh. us into the top six, bro. bro. We're, we're not <laughs> making finals, but As mathematically, a we can make FA Cup. Where have we dropped there? We, 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 we're going to make it in the FA Cup. FFA yeah. Cup. We uh, decided tonight we're going to release some merch. <laughs> <laughs> It's a, we're it's gonna a, have it's a must win and just have as, as I said, a, as, as, as I said, and my face, my smile. The one where he's laughing, no one's laughing. That one on the back of the, on the yeah, yeah, 100%. It's a must win. We do the pause, then everyone's going. <laughs> <laughs> so, as, as you can see, we're for some reason in a good mood right now, but that's because yeah. this bottle was full until Stoss got to it. Stoss got his hands on it. Yeah, I'm on my sixth scotch now, whatever this uh, right, uh, go, season uh, campaign. I get the job done, <laughs> podcast and whatnot. Um, <laughs> let's 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 talk about this game. It's obviously it's the last game yeah. of the season. Um, two, two, going right? in, going into it, as I still thought we could make the top six or whatever, but you know, obviously those um, those opportunities uh, dwindled mid midweek, obviously, yep. and this was pretty much just the game now, so we could get a decent uh, run for the FA Cup. Wow. Yeah, I guess that's, that's, yeah, that was our... Wow, yeah, that's, yeah, that's wow. the aim. Wow. Yeah, honestly, when you say it like that, wow. Yeah. Wow. Well, yeah. How far have we come? Not far. As a club. How far we dropped. Yeah, I know. Yeah. It, that's, what, that's, that's what he's implying. On the road again, this brother. This is a new life for the club. Like, this is the, probably the worst position that the club's ever been in yeah. since yeah. I've been a member. Uh, um, yeah. You know, you look at other clubs on Melbourne Victory, they shouldn't be where they are, but they, I know that they'll come back strong and sort of... We have to try and sort of see how our club's going to respond, um, not just from a from a coaching staff point of view, but obviously players that have come in and obviously from upper management. So hopefully we'll see in the next next season that the, we can get the players that we that we desperately need to fill the voids that we that we've been missing all season in the last couple of seasons. So, you know, so do, do you honestly think that this playing roster we had this season isn't good enough, George? I, no, like this playing roster should have been top four, hundred yeah. percent. This this team should have been challenging for the Premier. So play. what's the problem? A number of <laughs> factors. It can be, you know, a lot of people are saying, "Oh, it's Carl Robertson's tactics." Yeah, I probably agree with some of that statement in terms of um, certain games when they have played and certain styles that they played against. But you know, to go halfway through the season or towards it and go, "Oh, I've got to realize I've got a backup plan for when I play another team." Why in the fuck do you do that in the preseason? Yeah. You know, and you've got players that come in like Troisi, like a beanie, who, you know, they've represented Australia. They're actually, you know, they've played in the soccer roots. Troisi's won, won us the Asian Cup in 2015, mm. and he's playing like that. The fuck is wrong with him? Honestly, like, I don't care what system you are. If you're a striker, you're a striker. If you're a midfielder, you're a midfielder. I don't care what style the coach or management is trying to get you to play. You need to play it. These cunts are getting fucking paid like how much money a week? Yeah. You know, I don't care oh, the A-League's whatever quality. At the end of the day, they're not working, they're not working, you know, 12-hour shifts a day and going to training and playing on the weekend. It's their so in other years. words, it sounds like you're putting the blame of this season a lot more on the players 100%. than the coaching staff. 100%. Okay. I mean, everyone's got their own opinion, but I'm backing Carl Robinson trying to change the culture of the of the club. Yep. Because... So you're, so you're Robinson in? Hundred percent, I am. Yeah. Because you know what? You know the problem is if we sack Robinson now after after this season, it's like go back to square one. 
It's a whole another three-year process again. Well, pretty much we're going to be back at square one because half this squad by Monday morning, you're going to be getting Good. notifications, Good. departure, and I'll set departure, the notifications. departure. Um, All right. George, you guys, if we get rid of Carl Robinson, we're back to square one, yeah? Yeah. <coughs> I reckon we haven't fucking moved from square one since he's come in. We haven't even got in the square. I think, I think we're square one since he's come in. We've been square rooted. <laughs> no, 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 We've been rooted hard. No. I'll give you that, eh? No, no, good call. No. But I think the club has never recovered, and I'm being honest right now, the club has never re- never recovered from Popovich leaving. Yeah. yeah. Because we can all agree on that. We can all agree on that. Because when, um, what's his name, took over, like a Foxy. Foxy took over. All right, he, he, did okay. he did okay. He probably wasn't given... A chance to stamp his authority. He was and a caretaker. Then, yeah. yeah. He, was, he, wasn't he wasn't a manager. Go, he wasn't okay, a manager. You know what? See how he goes as head coach. See what he does. You're getting these all foreigner coaches that Gombau, I rank, I wanted Gombau and I actually thought he did an okay job with what he had. Gombau needed more time. But he needed more time. He needed the season. The problem is, then we <laughs> had um, uh, Babel. Babel didn't give it, get enough time to stamp what he wanted to change the football club. I don't know. We so had him for, we had him was two seasons. Like yeah. One and a bit. Look, One and a bit. Yeah. Well, one and a bit. Look, well, I'm, well I'm, the second bit, he, he got his way and then he flopped on that too. So that was it for me. I, I said, I'll wait till the season for Robertson to make my judgment. And I know we'll talk about it more at the end of the season. All I'm going to say is, and you can take this whatever way you want. Yeah. Like George said, and like you boy said, with that squad, we should be top two. You got to look at the coach. You have to look at the coach. Like, yeah. no matter what's happening behind the scenes with JT, Lederer, all that bullshit. On paper, we should be top two. We're not. Look at the players. Look at the coach. Answers for both. That's all I'm saying until end of the season. Play, the player. I think. I think the jersey was a bit too heavy for him. Look, That's this game, bro. This game, I thought they did all right. Honestly, honestly, this game. Oh, let's 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 right. delve more into the game now. Yeah. All right. So where you want to start? Because there's go you first half. Go. We're going first, first half, half, obviously. First, first half. goal. First seven minutes, shambles. Ten minutes, twelve minutes, absolute rubbish. Yeah. No control whatsoever on the game. Not a hand on the game. Well, that, well they had it fucking stuck in our fucking half for yeah, a box. A, a, a good fucking majority of that first half, man. Like you said, I think what the, posi- the position was ridiculous at oh, one stage. Yeah, yeah, it was eighty. It was like seventy something to whatever. Yeah, it was like 80, 83 80 to thirty nine or something. But like, like you, that. you said during the pod, like during the game, oh, this is a chance, and Boz took the piss, but it's right because. Like, we were halfway up the pitch, and... We hadn't gotten out of said, half. How's that a chance? But we had to take it as a chance, because we were playing that rubbish in the first 15. Right. But after that, honestly, credit to him. Pulled one back for a row. Come out with the... It was going off, but lucky the deflection. Yeah, that, that, that oh. shot was definitely <laughs> going off. Oh, yeah. It was way off. Yeah. That was missing. Whatever, we'll take Country it. Country fucking wild. Yeah. And, look, the, the players showed heart, man. Like, you, you, you're 10 men for 60 minutes. Yeah. 2-1 up. For, I don't know what he was thinking going studs up. Like, you can't... Oh, let's talk that about red. that challenge. Yeah, that's a in my eyes, that's, yeah. a, that's a red. 100%. That was, that that was intentional. Like yellow. Studs up. Bang. Took out his ankle. That's a red card. Yeah, it's a red card. Yeah. Stupid. It's a... It's a stupid. stupid considering... You're up 2-1 at that time we were. Was it 2-1 at that point? Yeah. And the boys did want to come back to get the lead after that start and you go do that shit like... Where's your bro? I think he um, just stamped his ticket to go to Newcastle. I want to. I want to see him. I like the same. I like Mudukudu. I like him. I think he's going to Newcastle. I think he's going to Newcastle, man. I don't know. I hope he doesn't, but I think he is. But yeah, look, Adelaide scored a lucky goal. Their second. It's it's Ziggy's. Oh, sorry, Aquilina's fuck up. Sleeping. Oh, the first one was Ziggy's fucking. How is that lucky, Azza? It's like all in his fuck up. Okay, if, that's yeah. not lucky. That's, that's not, not coming down to lucky. That's fucking piss poor defense. That's exactly, it is. I agree. It is. But it's not like he shot any deflector of three players and went in. To me, that's not good attacking. That's shit defending. He was ball watching. Bro, that was a quality ball. What are you yeah, talking but, about? There was, yeah, a, there was a play yeah, on the back post. All three post. of them were ball watching. How do you, how do you put that down to luck? That's because just if, fucking if, poor defending. If, yeah, I agree with Boz. It is. But if Aquilina did his job, But you're saying if. If. If that's what we're determining, that's what poor defending is. Yeah. He didn't. Ma- he didn't move to the ball. He watched the ball go past him. And he, yeah, he, he realized he that didn't know there was a guy on his left shoulder. And he realized that's not luck. Not. That's fucking shambles. How do you not know there's a guy on your left fucking the shoulder, bro? Hundred percent, I agree. Like it's fucking one hundred one. I'll, I'll give him the first goal luck. Yeah, off Ziggy's knee, you went in. Yeah, yeah. We'll yeah. say that's like hundred percent. That, that's more defending the second goal. That's exactly. Not luck. To me, like if if 
sleeping. To me, if I don't stand sleeping, up and say mate. that's a good attack, it, it, it's luck because the attack did not plan. Bro, that was a quality ball. What are you talking about? Uh, it, it was a good what? ball. It's not a great ball. They could have been ball. cleared. It could have been yeah. cleared. It should have been cleared. It's it like he was cleared. waiting for Ziggy to clear it. But the uh, after the, the ball went in, I watched all three of them look at each other and go, uh, like, what? Like it's, what just happened? That's, that's happened all season. It's Aquilina's fault. But that's but that comes down to miscommunication all throughout the season when the constant issue has always been McGowan. <sighs> I don't understand how. Oh, the clutching there, McGowan. Uh, no, 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 yeah. because I, I, can, I, I, I couldn't fault McGowan that much. McGowan was not either. Yeah, but I'm just saying. All right, take this game out of it. I thought he played okay, but if you look at overall in the season, Fair what play. what like what has he been doing in the is a back three or back four? What has he been doing as a captain to get the communication out there with the younger kids? Oh, he's not a leader. I've he's said not, it before. Not, I've not, said it. Not, I said it in the not. beginning. I said it after the first game. He's not. He's not loud enough. He's not a real. Not a real leader. When he's Do- not inspirational. When Doran, he's not commanding. He doesn't dictate play in the back he's line. He, he's got no he, vision. The only, the only, he's not a fucking the only, captain. The only two players that I will say I'll know in terms of the defensive point of view all season that have done pretty well consistently: Ziggy Gordon. Yep. Bar maybe a couple of games, yep. okay, and Aquilina, okay. I'll give the credit. I'll give the kid credit because he's the one that made Georgeski fucking leave. I, I still feel Nada's had some good big games. And, Na- and Nada has I think been, he's had some big games. And Nada has been a stalwart of this club. You know, he came in here when he was like what 10, 11 years old in the academy. He's come through the ranks, and look at him now. All right, tonight Why is he not starting. Well, okay, ask Carl Robinson that. I, I I don't think he's a starter. Bro, I if, think he is. If he's he's, next he's got he's got potential to become no, a he starter. Ha- if he's here next season, he starts. Yeah, if whoever's here next season should have started that game. Honestly, that's your bread and butter. You, you're not playing. If if Miguel's not here next season, why play him? I'm not saying he isn't, but why play him? Nada, he you, you would assume he is next season. But that's play a rich. You have no idea what the fuck he's gonna do. I don't. But if Nada's here next season, you gotta play him, bro. Honestly, well, the confidence because well, unless, why? Bro? Uh, unless it's the last game of the season. Yeah, uh, uh, unless yeah. Unless you bring in another what? defender that could potentially take that spot. Well, why didn't he, as you <sighs> said, he's going to put youngsters to play? Got, I didn't see no youth players whatsoever. We, we've built, we, we, we're saying we've built this team that sh- on paper should be finishing top. Yeah. Let's agree, top four, top yeah? Top four, yeah. Top four is reasonable. All right, let's look at our back line. Wilmering. I'm not saying starters tonight. I'm saying yeah, over, yeah. Uh, in, overall. Our, in the roster. Wilmering. Yeah. Aquilina. Yeah. Yeah. Nada. Yeah. Ziggy. Um, Taz. Has Madonka leave Ziggy out and the yeah. other right wing back? Russell, 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 Russell. Tate. Okay, five players. How old's the oldest one you reckon? Probably Tate. Huh? Yeah. 20, 23, 24. Tate. 23, 24. Yeah. For me, yeah, Thanks that's experience. a problem. Youth. Yeah. Five out of seven defenders, probably not 22 or 23 years old. I don't have enough experience. No, I agree with that because you know what it comes down to, yeah. boss? I don't mind playing you throughout the park. Yeah. But you can't have that many youth you, in your back. You can, you can, you can have youth in your team. Yeah, right. I, I'm, I'm all for that. But it needs you need to have a balanced team. Mm. All right. If you have a back line of four, you can have you can squeeze in a one, uh, one player in the midfield. You can squeeze another one. Right on the wing, you can squeeze on over out of the eleven yep. players. You can have three youngsters. Yeah, yep. yeah. But when your whole three of your, your four back line, well, let's let's talk about the whole season. Five at the back. Yep. Yeah, that's fine. Th- three of them are under the age that's, of 22, that's 23. What's happen. That's the problem. Yeah. Yeah. So. Again, um, it comes down to for me, we just we can't we're expecting these youngsters to bail us out. Yeah, it comes down to recruitment. How can you go into a season without, you know, uh, an experienced squad, man? And then you look at the veteran in the back line, yeah. is McGowan. Yeah. McGowan. You know what should I mean? Be guiding them. Forget should Ziggy. Ziggy's, had a, Ziggy's a quality well, defender. McGowan's, whatever. McGowan's, McGowan's brother is captain quality, right? For yeah. FC. Yeah. But I don't think he is. And Ziegler hasn't done. Much all season because he hasn't been playing yeah. at all. And uh, to, to, to be fair and, to Ziegler, and he's uh, he's had some decent games. Yeah, when he's played, when he's, when he's played, played, and he gives away the odd penalty here and there. But that's obviously a different <laughs> story. <laughs> Honestly, on but what about Magush? The saves he pulled up today. I'll tell you why. Wow. Outstanding. That that kid, he's gonna go places. I hope we can uh, keep him. If we can Marin keep him, back if, to we can get, if we can keep him and get <laughs> a better center to pair, like pairing in the back, that he can allow that communication of when. To, to make his, you know, uh, plays, especially in the corner, um, playing out from the back and communicating where the plays need to be because if McGowan's going to be there again next year, it's going to be another fucking cop-up. All right? That's I reckon keep McGowan in there. Keep Ziggy in there. Ziggy, but you need yes. you, you need two more experienced players. All right, who would All you right? get? I don't know. That's not my job. 
I'm not. Yeah, uh, but who's I'm that not, George, I, there's. I, I'll look overseas if I have to. Yeah. I'll look at you know if I need to look at an Asian Asian countries. Bring, but we need experience, right? Yeah. So we don't have that. I know we've built yeah. this academy, and I'm all for developing yeah. players. But you got to do it in a right way. You can't just throw in five youngsters into a back no, line. I agree. Yeah? But the problem is, is where's that where's where's Baranovic playing now? In um, he's in Perth. No, he's still in Perth. Yeah, he hasn't played a single but game. But he hasn't bro. played like I think he's been playing two like seasons. Three Fuck, alright, it's Perinovich. Yeah, he was alright. But that's where, for me, that's where we've we've struggled this uh, year yeah, with, the, with the experience in the back line. We scored you know? the most goals ever in our history, but we've conceded how much? It means nothing. Yeah, as a, right. the same what does that mean? As a we beat fuck yeah. all, and, yeah. and if you look at nine goals conceded from set pieces, from set like more corners more than that tonight from corners. And I could just on top of my head, I can remember three or four occasions where Nat has fucking been uh, out muscled, out jumped in, in set pieces. Yeah. Again, comes down to maybe he's so young, his body isn't even developed. <laughs> yeah, when a, when the other team centre backs, when Topper Stan is coming at you. Your hammers are coming at you. Yeah. yeah, you're 21, 22. You're not. Your your body you body's can't. not developed. Yeah. You're just trying to get out muscle. Yeah. So again, you can bring in these youngsters, but fucking not not a whole fucking. Yeah. You know. So you look at the first two seasons that we had. We had Beecham and Topol. Then we had Deputzo on the left. Speranovic, we just had experience. And, all no, that. We have, and we relied and on that. Good and they got us through, bro. Sometimes we had units, bro. Units. Yeah. They were we, units. That would put in the effort every week. Look, honestly, the players today, I'm going to get back to the game. The players today, I can't yeah. fault the effort. I don't think anyone can fault the effort. I, 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 it's, yeah. I'm I, gonna, oh, I can't fault the yeah, effort. The, the, re, uh, the reason why I'm kind of down from today is much is mixed. Missed. Yeah. That, oh, cost right, me money. We, we win 3 that's, 2. 10 men were like, the boys shot hard. The boys did this. The boys did that. I don't know how you nah, missed you got to fucking finish that. I don't know. How the fuck you missed that? Took, like the, the goals were empty. He took another four touches. <laughs> Didn't need to. I don't know just why. Case. Just I don't four touches. He didn't need and to. allowed the keeper to come from the edge of the box all yeah. the way back in front of him. And then he decides to shoot. Mate, honestly. Like, that's fucking poor, it's man. It's lazy. It's lazy. I'm play. glad it's his last game. That, that, yeah. that is it? Is it his yeah, last, last game? game. He signed only for six months. Six bro. month contract. Okay, how, do, how do you know he's not going to resign him? Let's well, fucking hope not. Brother, <laughs> if he's resigning after that, yeah, we've yeah. got I, problems. I, I, I know. But we, we do have problems. problems. I've established he's on cheap that. wage, from what the rumours, he's on cheap wage. Yeah. He is on cheap He's on a six months rego, bro. Inspection, next rego. look, we'll give it. He's going for his blue slip. Blue slip. We'll give the effort. We'll give the boys credit tonight for the effort. But. That's the season. I'm not going to go into it too much, but what I am going to say this, right? As fans, um, it's normal you go through your ups and downs, yeah? But we're never going up. But we're, yeah. we just keep going down, and now we're in the fucking pits. For me, yeah. We're in yeah. the trenches hard. For me, yeah. Um, it's been a, um, a terrible, terrible season, Days all right? It's fucking scandalous, if you ask me, the yeah. season that we've had. Um. I have no hope moving forward because the people who have been put us in this shit are still there. Yep. I have no faith in them to get us out of this shit. Yep. How are you agreeing um, now, Malta? I'm a good bro. You you were saying top I've, six. I've listen. You make I'm really saying overall. I'm I, I'm honestly in a way I'm glad we didn't make the top six because this fucking ownership and management yeah don't deserve a club to be in the top six and play in the finals, right? They do not deserve it, and. If we were to make the top six, that'd give them more of a reason to fucking stay there and and, yeah. and, and give us reasons yeah. why they're successful, yeah. right? So they need a reality check. Yeah, they need something to confirm that they're a failure. Yeah, and again for the fourth season in a row not making it, I feel sorry for our fans. Yeah, I've fallen out of loving with this club. Yeah, I don't have the I'm bored as fuck, right? And it's a build up. I fucking hate who we who we've become. Yeah. yeah, this is not the fucking club we fell in love with, bro. Hundred mm. percent. Yeah, this is not the fucking club we travelled around the country to support. Yeah. This is story. not the fucking it's club, cold. yeah, on cold night learning new chants. Yeah. Hours Fuck on bro, hours bro. on your fucking Big knees bro. making uh, uh, tifos and banners. This yeah, is not yeah. the fucking club we fell in love with, bro. Yeah, they've torn us apart this year. Yeah. Corporate uh, shit, bro. They've torn us apart. It. it I've, uh, it's it's yeah. I've just it's I've, I hate 100%. who we've become. I hate who we've become. This is not the fucking club yeah. we fell in love with, bro. 100%. And I have nothing else to say. I, I honestly I've, I'm, I'm I have a lot of adrenaline and emotions, but screaming doesn't get anywhere. We're drained, bro. Yeah, I'm drained, but this is not the fucking club I fell in love with. It's not. I don't. Oh. I, I hate what we've become. Yeah, yeah. yeah. we're fucking we're we're toxic from the core, 
right? Mm-hmm. And it's I don't know where we're gonna go, guys. I wish we, we I had a sense of direction. It's in not terms looking bright the future. It's not, guys, and it's worrying. It's concerning. They fucking killed this club for me, because you compare when Nedra came into this club, you compare where we were to where we are today. Yeah, it's been a downward spiral. And to, to, to think that they're going to be here possibly for the next two, three, four years, not longer. budging. Fuck yeah. no, the club won't be here, um, bro. I fucking, and I can sit here and talk about all our fucking good moments, yeah. our season one, our ACL, yeah. all our good away. And, but that's all memories. That's all the good days. Yeah. But I've got- We're but living in the present, past. We're living reason. in a fucking nightmare. Yeah. We're living in dark, dark And days, it's, if, you know, as a fan, you, fl- you know, you can fluctuate. You have a bad season, yeah, follow yeah, our good yeah. season. It's been four seasons oh. and now we're in the fucking pits, bro. Flatline. Yeah. For me, it was the three biggest clubs, well, the three biggest clubs that should be are us, Melbourne Victory and Sydney. Victory had two shit seasons. Their CEO's gone. Overhaul. Ours is there. Our, that was our, four. Four. Four what? Our last four seasons. That feels yeah, it, yeah, exactly. They're, they're, but no, Victory. victory well, I, was, I know Victory, seasons. but I'm saying us now compared yeah, to them. We've had four or five shit seasons yeah. and our... our Directors and all that shit are so the head's so far up their ass they don't believe it, bro. They exactly. don't believe it. Like four weeks ago, they were saying, "Oh, we're three, two points off first or second. Bro, look where we finished. But and he, and he won't sit. Like that's that. why I'm glad so we still not done yet. Yeah, yeah, Isn't perfect one more game? Yeah, we, we could finish what we, we could <laughs> ninth, eighth, eighth, ninth. ninth. Bro, that's 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 embarrassing. They're out of excuses, bro. Honestly, out of excuses. I don't even think Ledger will watch the game tonight, bro. I don't re- yeah, you I know what? I tell re- me, I re- tell re- me, re- a dead re- grubber tonight. Ledger is sat home and watched this game. Hundred yeah. percent. I reckon. There's no fucking way he watched this game. Hundred percent. He was at fucking some probably restaurant, going, "Oh, cool. I've got a little fucking collateral on the side." You probably doesn't know we're playing fucking, tonight for fucking yeah. Western Boys. Sydney. And what burns me is these cunts will sleep comfortably tonight yeah. while we're tossing and turning in our bed thinking, where yeah. the fuck did we go wrong? Yeah, because exactly. where the fucking cunts that cop it. Boys, you know what it is? It's a tax write-off, brother. This whole it's fucking it's, club yeah. is a, a shit, tax write-off for letter, brother. Yeah. Okay, yeah. and JT still in position. Okay. Because he's a fucking lawyer this and he does all the shifty antics for him. That's and that is a yes man. And that's why he's still the CEO. And that's why Ledger doesn't give a rat's ass when we finish on the fucking table. There has to st- it's a tax right off for all the other shit he we'll does with his there business. There has to be something stuff we'll we'll sta- why we'll JT's still there. We'll, sa- we'll say. I that. just fucking sus. told you what uh, it was, we'll bro. Something <laughs> what the fuck, sus? I just told you what it fucking was. Yeah, we'll he's a fucking it. lawyer by trade. He does all the shifty business for him. And that's it. Simple yeah. as that, boys. Ledger doesn't give a fuck if the clubs at the bottom of the fucking we'll ladder, s- we'll bro. Say it, we'll say it now. We've got confirmation. Obviously, we don't reveal our sources. Yeah. Uh, we got confirmation. Someone who wanted to, someone we I trust, someone we trust, but uh, wants to remain confidential, said that um, JT not only look, is the CEO of the club, but also looks after Ledra's businesses. Um, and obviously does all a bit of the dirty work with his businesses. So there's a, there's a relationship outside of the club, which is keeping him there. Uh, we knew all along there was something outside this professional professional relationship yep. because uh, when you failed consecutively for a long period of time, yeah, it's usually you get pushed out the door, you, you resign. But we knew there was something there, some dirty laundry that was keeping him there, right. and we yeah. can confirm that uh, it's because he looks after his it's businesses. A rumor, it's a rumor. It's, it's a rumor. It's been rumor. told to us. Um, but it's 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 a trustworthy rumor. Yeah. Yeah. Makes sense. Someone someone who's Old provided us with information previously that. that's been confirmed. So um, it's really whether it's true or not, we don't know, but yeah. it's pretty credible in my yeah. Pretty concrete. Yeah. But this is why, hopefully, if the club decides to do a, I guess, oh. an open open forum for all members and fans, not just members only. They're not doing any forum. Whatever. No. Okay. No, because you they know what? They were. Okay, if they do it's it, if they do it, I want every person out there who loves this club. From the start till now, that won't be an issue, no, no. George. Everyone will be there. No, trust because me. you know what? At the end of the day, you get those numbers there. We need to say what we believe, what is right, and what we need to do going forward for this club, and say what we believe instead of having little fucking behind the scenes Q and A or filtered fucking questions. Mm. Because you know what? At the end of the day, there's a cancer within this club, and it needs to be fucking removed. All right. Because at the end of the day, this all is right, going to... Expi- explain to me, okay, how a, a Q&A, all right, a fan forum, all right, is going to help us get in this contact of the club. But you know what? 
at least. Well, like, what is it going to actually I, I, achieve? No, I want to. I want to know. It's gonna, it's what gonna, pressure, bro? No, it's gonna. It's gonna. What pressure? On JT and shit. These guys are locked in, brother. It's just fucking. This is they, his business, most bro. Most likely, they're not going to go. Guys, I want to know what's his guys. answer. What's his solution yeah. to because fix this? What you know, is it? You know the thing that he that got the shits in me when I saw JT at the members' day. All right, I was wearing a Chelsea jersey because we went through to the FA Cup final. All right, he came. He walked past me. He saw me. He goes. Oh, what the hell are you wearing a one, uh, fucking Chelsea jersey for? I said, oh, because, you know, they came, they won semi final, got through the final. I said, he goes, oh, Chelsea are useless. I said, they've won fucking Premier League titles, oh, they're cool. fucking Listen, whatever. George, that's cool. I'm he had, saying, he had a bit of banter with you, that's yeah. cool. What we want, JT, come out. But that's just Say to us, this is my 10 steps to fucking get us out of this situation. Show us a plan. Show yeah. us the direction. Yeah. You've been silent for way too long, yeah. right? These fans, our fans, the ones that have been loyal for the last four years stuck with this club, deserve an explanation, deserve some sort of plan that you have in place that you're going to implement to get us out. Give us a bit of hope that the club is going to make the right moves to fucking get us up, uh, in, a, in a better situation. Well, I can already hear what he's going to say. Yeah. Our academy is building. We're yeah. building a strong academy. Yeah. Oh, we're building We've a got four people, four academies come through. Our that's future's that's, looking that's strong, your blah, opinion. Blah, blah, blah. No, that's my opinion, sorry. Okay, but we've got a business park build, being built. I watched, I watched MacArthur I FC him. the other day. Yeah. yeah. Half the team was was probably at the, at the, under the age of 23. Yeah. But they've made the finals. Yeah. 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 So you can you can you don't need to miss out on finals to pr you know, to promote your academy. You know what I mean? Yeah, so but that's, it goes that's back to what you were saying before. I doubt they've fucking got four youth players playing in their back line. No. No. True. Me, no, me, no, they yeah. have experience there. Yeah. Exactly. They have the they have the youth in the more but the youth attacking in the attacking it's wise. Spread they, out, it's spread out throughout the lineup. Yeah. yeah. Okay. If we can't get JT out, then Lidera needs to fucking go. Lidera's not going anywhere. Guys, they're not going. No, they're not Lidera's going. Not going. Not going. I, know, I know it's not going to happen, bro. but like... If one goes, we, they we, both we, go, we, but they're we, not going. Okay, the only the only way that this is going to happen in terms of change, no one fucking rocks up next season. It's happening, Well, bro. it's happening, it's happening bro. bro. Look at the food, look at honestly, the stadium. Honestly, George... We don't, we don't need game. to call out anything on this George, podcast. Bro. Honestly, I reckon a whole year will go by with a thousand people in that stadium for every home game and they still won't go. And they're content. Yeah, they still because won't. Be happy at the end of the day, they get paid to fucking play there. Yeah. No, the club gets paid to play there, right? So they're not losing out on any fucking income or anything like that. It's just investment. George, you're missing the point of what I just said before. The, the, the ownership doesn't give a fuck if we finish that last. Oh, that's what I'm saying. Right, I, I, there's other things at hand here, other agendas. They, yeah, they don't give a shit. Simple as that. You know what? Because and at the end of the day, all right, this club was originally fucking founded on the people of Western Sydney. Correct. All right, 100%. Western Sydney. Okay, the heartland of fucking 100%. football, and this is where we are now. Yeah, it's yep. turned corporate. And yep. it's just a fucking tax write off exactly, this club. 100%. That's what it fucking is. It's, it's everything. Simple. It's everything we we're against. Everything we protest, protest before. Yep. Against, and look what it's turned into now. Yep. Everything that we're 100%. against, it's turned into that now. Bro, I'm just saving for an end of season podcast for me to snap. Oh, well, we're gonna snap, don't you worry, man. Because at the end of the day, like I'm looking at our club, and I'm looking at that whole fucking Europe, the Super League bullshit. That's the way our ownership structure is li literally looking like. It's like, oh, okay, why do we have to invest money to keep being like a top four team? You need to fucking do that because it attracts memberships. It attracts fucking fan base. They don't care, George. But they don't give a shit. That's what I'm he agree. literally he says does. he does not care about membership numbers. That came out of his mouth. I do not care about membership he goes, numbers. I care what? How? JT, hey, JT, bro. No, hey, Malta, no. he goes, I only care about active support. What active support is what active, there, brother? No one's fucking rocking ah. in the last games, two weeks. No no, no. What, 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 what support? I haven't, I haven't seen you come out once in the fucking social media and say, where's the RBB, blah, blah, well, blah. Well, he doesn't huh? come out you on the must fucking care field. Lot, bro. Well, he doesn't want the, the RBB, bro. Away, bro. He never wanted it in the first place. Yeah. How can a CEO say, I don't care about membership numbers? That's that, literally that, 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 what I can't I fathom that. Yeah, try and fathom I can't fathom that, brother. <laughs> your, your it's, it's ludicrous. Your, your membership like, base is... It's, mad, it's out of madness. Well, I'm stunned, bro. The, the membership is your core yeah. to get you... I'm fucking you. stunned. If he actually said that, I'm fucking stunned. I'm not going to find it. So in other words, he doesn't care about the fans. Exactly, and the club. Oh, bro, we're, guys, we're in we're trouble. Hundred really percent, we're in trouble. We're in trouble. I've got no nothing else to say. Oh, Honestly, yeah. I'll wait for the end of <laughs> season to so kind of say before. He doesn't have that. He doesn't have that, Malta. So we'll just wrap it up, bro. Yeah, nothing the more. The shit to say. thing is, we're, we're, 
we're down here. We're, we're fucking, Why can't I play the fucking audio? Look at us ranting. Do you want to play it? No, don't, don't, don't. Look at us ranting. I've got the fucking audio. Why can't I play it? Look at us ranting and shit. Fuck it. Play it. Not now, not now. Hey, we won't, obviously, not we won't. Now. Not now, no, 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 don't. No, no, it's, it's not your one, eh? Hey. Oh, it's not your okay, one. Okay, you go. Not yours. Oh, yeah, keep talking. I thought it was mine. Yeah. Yeah. You gotta think about this stuff. Just. <laughs> play it, let's play it. Yeah, you gotta find think it. About it yeah. Oh, we've got something for the fans. We've got something for you. Say, hey, exclusive, talking, boys. exclusive no, content. That, the, the frustrating thing is we're, we're ranting here right now, and the fact is that we just played all right. And that just shows you how much the club has killed us. Like, we, we should be reasonably pleased we with that. Him, but under. we're not. We're, we're fucking disgusting. Yeah, it's the last game it, of the it, season, bro. Yeah. That's the issue. That's yeah. It, yeah. yeah. If this was the first game well, of the year, like it's, it's a good point. Okay, yeah. it's yeah. like potential there. Zip it. Zip it, I'll break your hip. Let me say to you a few words about John Tatinas. John has been here from day one. He has done a phenomenal, outstanding, great job for this club. He works seven days a week to make this club for what it is, for what it should be. So for some people to even think about such absurdity is really is irritating. Irritating. I just thought I'd say that. Because let me say to you, if there was many people like John at the club, you wouldn't have a problem. By the way, John's not playing tonight, if you get the message. He's not the coach tonight. He's a CEO. He's not the player. He's not playing. So that, that's something I just wanted to share with you. Okay, clapping your fucking silly ass. The, you know what that was? That was like a... That was like a can you he believe saw he lost the, like even the staff looks like he's let's lost. Go, let's go back to what context. he just said there. Yeah? No, no, can wait, you believe? Wait, give him context, give, give, give him context. context. This was after the derby. people. No, no, no. This was after a couple of people went to the stadium. I went to the training and put all those JT banners out. The JT out banners. Yeah. Yeah. And this yeah. was at derby. This was derby. Yeah, this, and derby. The, this was derby. And the club obviously let her out, saw it or heard about those JT banners, and that's where he came out and addressed this. Now I hope it came through the audio. I hope it. Did. We don't know if it did or not. If it didn't, we can upload the audio. We can upload the audio. That's fine. I'm not, no, I'm can not. You believe, season, can you believe, can you believe, can you believe he yeah. said JT's been doing a phenomenal job seven and days a seven week? Seven days a week. Oh, let's put that aside. <laughs> let's put that, his work ethic aside. Oh, yeah. He's been doing a phenomenal job. <laughs> we haven't made the finals in six years. Every year we've placed one, one less than the year before. Yeah. Yep. And he's saying he's been doing a phenomenal job. To get that, this club where that it's That blows anyways. my mind, bro. So he's yeah. literally... That blows my mind. So, so JT has literally... <laughs> try not to explain No, JT has literally become the epitome of stupidity when it comes to a fo- that, running a football that club. That shows how right. fucking no brains... Our, Mate, the, our owner... Our, in can the, can the I tell sand, you? our management can, can, is, Can bro. I tell you? Our owner has... No, and I hate, to say, I hate to say this when I said, and don't take it as to offence, Doss. This is exactly why you have a fucking Greek running a fucking football club. Right? I've got no offense with that whatsoever. Right. I, know, right. I know John Sutsamus on a personal level, right. okay? And, don't and get at me the wrong. end of the day, he might be you know who John Sutsamus is, bro? I just told you before. He's the yes man, bro. Right. Okay, that's why he's does still he in kiss, his title. So he kisses everyone Because at the end of the day, letter it does not so give a fuck about this club. And he what did he say? What did he just say in that fucking audio? JT is doing a good job. JT is doing a good job? And what did he say? He's not a player. He's, he's not, not on the pitch. Let me just, oh. He's not on the that. pitch. He's not on the pitch. Yeah. <laughs> That's your opinion, Banana. That's our owner, bro. That's how much he doesn't owner. understand about Mate, football honestly, and, it's, and it's run, how it's run. Our ownership has become the fucking Stan Cronky of the fucking A-list. I couldn't give a fuck. I just leaked that That's footage. Literally That's literally the audio. Yeah, thank thank you. Uh, fuck you. Thank you, Mark Jensen, for the audio. Thank you very much. <laughs> 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 you idiot. <laughs> well done, Mark. Oh. Thank you, Mark Jensen. Mark Jensen, <laughs> you're a legend. I said I wouldn't say anything. If I had to say it, I don't, I don't <laughs> like you. <laughs> thank you for the audio. <laughs> Oh, no, right. We it got everything on you. Wrap it up there. Wrap it up. Let's wrap it. Wrap it. Wrap it. Wrap it. Wrap it. Wrap it. Listen, Thank anyway, uh, end the scene. There was a review. <laughs> <laughs> I'm drunk. End the scene. <laughs> you remember, <laughs> like, subscribe, and hit that fucking like button again. Hit it again. Hit it with your fucking dad. End the season review coming. This, that, we're out.